You may have heard how the family that prays together stays together. But have you heard that playing together and supporting each other are also effective ways of keeping the family together? These are the three suggestions put forward by a panel of family experts on the latest Rome Reports Premium Conversation dedicated to strengthening the family. Given the pressures we're facing today, families can't really make it unless there is a real opening to grace. And that type of grace comes primarily through prayer. And I think that's a great way to help strengthen families and keep them together. You see that closeness when you see these the families that are out doing physical, you know, let's let's game of basketball together, or even then playing music together. Of course, no family can thrive without a strong support system. So you're supposed to be able to think about your parents, your siblings. Oh, this is a glimpse of what God's love looks like. So, so Jesus is not a 2,000 year old memory. He's, I see something extraordinary here. Maybe I see it in a friend, maybe I don't. I definitely see it in my family. That, that comes to surround me when something has gone horribly wrong. Bringing a young person's perspective on how to strengthen the family was one of the O'Donnell's nine children. You're going to be in a crucible to each other. You're going to see like parts and your worst parts so up, up close and personal that just recognizing like your calling isn't to, you're not called to succeed, you're called to try. It's precisely because he wants us to try that the Pope has called for a year dedicated to the family. Fin d'ora invito tutti ad aderire alle iniziative che verranno promosse nel corso dell'anno e saranno coordinate dal Dicastero per i Laici Famiglia e Vita. The year will begin on March 19th and will conclude on June 26th, 2022, with the 10th World Meeting of Families.